swam across the canal to one of Ottawa's most sophisticated restaurants, the Shore Club. Known for its contemporary dining room, lavish bar, and gourmet surf and turf, it's definitely a hot spot for seafood and cocktail lovers alike. I hope you guys are still hungry because this is the final port on our seafood destination. So I'm standing here in the private room with Jason. He's the executive chef of what I have to say is one of the sexiest restaurants in Ottawa. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because of this abundance of aphrodisiac we have on our table right now. <laughs> but anyway, Jason, thanks I'm so much for having you. us. Thank you very much for coming. It's, it's our pleasure to, to host you. So tell us, how long have you been the executive chef here at the Shore Club and how have you evolved personally and how has the restaurant evolved since you came on? Uh, I've started uh, four years ago. I've been chef for three years. Uh, you know what, we've come a long way. Uh, we've built our team uh, really strong uh, and I'm actually really excited uh, where we're going for the future. It's, it's, uh, it's been very, very busy. It's actually been nonstop, which is great for us. It's a great problem to have. Absolutely. Um, and I just, I'm working with some great, great chefs. So we're, we're very excited. Well, I know I'm very excited to see uh, where you guys go from here. Um, I know that you guys cater to a wide clientele, uh, everyone from business professionals to, you know, celebrities swooping into town for the night to your average foodie like me. Uh, and so just can you tell our viewers, what can we expect when we come to dine here um, and what attracts people to this place? Honestly, uh, you know, my, man my mantra, my, my, my beliefs are consistency. Course. What makes us successful is consistency. It it's goes from the, the experience uh, in the dining room to the food, uh, to the vibe. Uh, you know, when you walk in, you want to ensure that you're having that same great experience you've had, you know, last week, a month ago, last year. So we strive on that. We really ensure quality, quality food, really uh, well seasoned, uh, properly prepared, and, and just ensuring that, you know, when you're, you're in the dining room, you're feeling like a VIP guest. Absolutely. Everybody's a VIP to us, And so. ambiance and mood definitely plays a part in the overall dining experience. Absolutely. Um, and speaking of consistency, I know that is something that you strive for uh, without compromising quality, of course. Ever. So, you know, we live in kind of a, a crazy climate here in Ottawa. Um, and I'm just wondering, how do you face these challenges throughout the year? Honestly, uh, I, I have great, great suppliers. Uh, you know, I'm using uh, La Pointe's, I'm using Kaufman, I'm using Orleans for produce. And uh, we're very, very lucky uh, to build really strong relationships. They're sourcing the, the, the freshest uh, product for us. Uh, so we really focus on that. We, we have been going seasonal with our menu. Um, and it starts with, you know, when the food enters uh, in their kitchen, mm -hmm. we have the, uh, all, the, all the, the, the chefs that I work with, you know, they'll evaluate that food, they're going to look at that food, and they're going to ensure it's A1, it's always the best. And I've got to address the beautiful elephant in the room here. This is your seafood tower. Uh, I know you sort of half constructed here, so tell me, what do we have so far? Absolutely. It's one of our top sellers. Uh, we have many beautiful items on here. Uh, what we've done is we've started with our ahi tuna. We lightly seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We put a, a little bit of uh, Cajun spice on it, uh, and then we pan seared it uh, on all sides, uh, ensuring it's golden brown, so you bring out that nice caramelization of, uh, of the fish. Wow. Uh, and second, we have our king crab. Uh, it's a Alaskan I king crab. King crab is probably one of my favorite seafood go-tos. It's it's <laughs> it's a very uh, high-end product, great quality. We like to cut it on the bandsaw, and we like to uh, expose it. Uh, oh, and with you shell. already cut it for us. That's actually That's a right. huge plus for someone like me exactly. who struggles with opening king crab. Exactly. Like. So after what we did is we've taken our smoked salmon that we have, we've thinly sliced that. Okay. We've placed it on the tower, and then we've garnished it with a little bit of red onion and, and caper. Uh, and then we have a, uh, a half, or it's actually a full lobster tail. Okay. This is a seven ounce lobster tail. It's on this side right here. Yeah, that's big. And what we've done is we've cooked it uh, perfectly. Uh, a little bit of olive oil over top for some shine, a couple drops of lemon really to pop that lobster flavor. Of course. And then we can move up. Uh, what we've done to is- To our next layer. To our next <laughs> layer of the tower. There. There's three layers that we're gonna have to uh, take a look at. What we have here <laughs> is our prawns and our oysters. 
Uh, and then uh, lastly, what we have is I was going to say what ceviche. cherry we're goes missing. on top, or what are we missing well, we're here? We're missing we're missing the ceviche, and then uh, we're going to garnish with our snow crab claws to finish. Okay. So I start off with one scallop. Okay. I like to take a portion of halibut. I don't use this much halibut, so that would be a little a bit nice over overkill. Fish. Yeah. So I, I like to take a piece off that, and then I start to slice that as well. Well, let's start off with a little bit of uh, olive oil. Uh, what we will do is a little bit of shallot. Uh, then it depends on how much heat you like. I like to I use like a lot of heat. Jalapenos. Okay. Uh, then what we do is that's the honey. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the three citruses that we like to use over top of our ceviche. Okay. Or ceviche. So that's our um, our acid. sort of acid component. Yeah. That's exactly okay. what it is. All right. So. No crab claws. Here we go. It's just another addition to this uh, crazy tower that we have. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to finish it off with a little bit of cilantro. Okay. I'll ask you to grab just a, a couple of leaves. Okay. And just lightly break them in, in, the, uh, in the ceviche. Okay. And then we're going to garnish that as well with a little bit of orange segments. So give it a nice pop of color. Absolutely. Okay, well, I'm definitely ready to taste this. Absolutely. So let's grab a spoon. Okay. I always like to taste it before we serve it. Okay, so let's make great. sure that we're, uh, here we go, that's yours. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Both at the same time? It's Are you going to let me know if it's okay to try? It's kind of crazy. Mm. Perfect. Okay, I want a piece of Whoa. scallop and a piece of halibut. Okay, try this beautiful ceviche. Mm. How's that? So fresh. Wow. Nailed it. Flavor awesome. explosion. Excellent. Honestly, tastes like the sea. So now, all fish is on deck. So Jason, it's a good thing I barely made a dent in that seafood tower because I know you have something else in store for us. Absolutely, so these ingredients here are gonna turn into a forbidden rice with a coconut kefir lime chili sauce with a wonderful pan-seared halibut. Wow. Let's go see how it's done. Well, Jason, thanks for letting me help you with the sear on that halibut. No problem, my pleasure. So what I like to do is I like to start off with the forbidden rice here. I'll like okay. a, take a tablespoon. You trust me to plate it? Absolutely. Okay, great. I'm gonna put it right in the center of the plate. All right. Perfect. Uh, and then I would ask you to grab the halibut okay. and put it right on top. Wow, look at the sear on that. Perfect sear, you did a great job. Oh, thank you. I'm fishing for compliments here. That's and then what sir. we wanna do is we wanna take that Coconut sauce. Okay. And we were, is it too hot for you? This smells amazing, but I think I'll get you to plate it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so just to finish with a little bit of drizzle around the halibut, it's our coconut kefir lime and chili sauce. It has a little bit of that bite, that heat that you're looking for. People love this sauce, so I'm not shy with it. <laughs> Here we are, perfect. I wouldn't be shy with it either. Never, never be shy. And then what I want to do, a little lemon, a little parsley. I can finish with a little bit of parsley garnish over top for color. Not too much. Beautiful. What a nice garnish. Done. Look at that pan seared halibut. Wow. I really 
like this restaurant because the ambiance is perfect for feeling like you're out on the town, even though it's the it's technically the middle of the day. It's always vibrant. There's always a lot going on, so I really like to come here. Well, we've indulged in Ottawa's best seafood without even getting your feet wet. Now that's luxury. But there's plenty more above the water foods to explore, so I'll see you next time on Three Ways to Eat Ottawa. Mmm, fishy. Hey!